Welcome in my stock market bulls and bears. I'm your host, Terry Stonkers, and welcome to my channel, Buy the Dip. All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about a stock that we have not ever talked about on the channel before, and that's right. It's going to be Nintendo, ticker symbol N-T-D-O-Y. This stock, if you don't know, Nintendo Gaming Systems, man. We grew up with Nintendos. I grew up with Super Mario Brothers. The, you know, the original Mario Brothers Duck Hunt stuff, man, that's right in my time frame. Uh, Nintendo, man, it's a little uh, childhood memories for me. And I never honestly looked at the stock until I saw those news come out. And I'm like, I have to get in this stock because it's going to have huge potential going forward. Here you can see the five-year chart on Nintendo. And the only time it really comes down is when there's kind of something in the market, like this was the crash of 2018. Now, Nintendo kind of benefited during the Rona here because people are staying at home and buying stuff. So it's kind of been a... Uh, leveling out here in a sense now stock is 55 dollars and 57 cents so you're like it's a little costly for most average retail investors but they announced something that is huge in my opinion and it's going to help people to be able to buy this stock so let's get into that news here today nintendo stock split the real reason it matters the key points nintendo is executing a 10 for one stock split on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. This will, the move will put Nintendo stock within reach of thousands of ordinary investors. Every American shareholder should see some real benefits from this split. And this here is what they're saying, guys. For every one share of Nintendo stock you have, you will get 10 shares. Well, you get nine additional shares. So if you bought this here at $55 today for one share, you will have 10 shares total after the split so they're going to add you nine shares but this price will get cut down uh it'll be divided by 10 so it'd be like five dollars and some per share so maybe around yeah five dollars and some per share so let's go here and take a look at this article and see what they have to say unlike tesla or amazon or nintendo will reach a lot more investors after splitting its stock video game console nintendo just announced a stock split in most cases i would tell you the split won't make much of a difference to investors. However, this one is different. Nintendo stock split will make its shares much more accessible to people buying the original shares on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. So what's new? On Tuesdays, Nintendo's board of directors set up a 10 for one stock split. The move will take place over the weekend on October 1st. This is the first split in Nintendo's history. Investors been asking Nintendo to execute a stock for uh, stock split for many years. The company has been open to the idea since 2019. The official reason behind the split is to reduce the minimum investment price, which will increase liquidity in Nintendo stock and grow its investors base. So here we go. This is what I'm saying, guys. If you have a thousand bucks, you may not want to just buy, you know, $55 stock, but maybe you want to buy a little bit of shares at $5 and some a piece. So it will appeal to more retail investors. So here it says here, stock splits are not a big deal over here. For US-based investors, stock splits really don't matter that much. Your broker is happy to sell you a single share for Amazon for roughly 2100 today. If you only have 200 to invest this month, nearly any American broker offers fractional shares. 120th of the Amazon share today will cost you $105, assuming that the price don't move much for the company's 20 to 1 split that takes effect in June. You'll end up one share of Amazon, whether you buy one share after the split or 1 20th of a share right now. But here is the big reason why this stock split is huge, guys. For Japanese stocks, they can be crucial. Things are different in Japan. On the Tokyo Exchange, you must buy stocks in lots of 100 shares each, and fractional shares are nowhere to be seen. The standard size was lowered from 1,000 shares to 100 shares just three years ago so things are moving toward uh more relaxed requirements one share on the ten one share of nintendo was worth fifty seven thousand two hundred fifty fifty seven thousand two hundred fifty japanese yen on thursday's market close which translates to roughly 445 dollars per share and here it is you can check it out this is on the japanese otc stock exchange here uh, Nintendo stock is $446 for one share. And they're making them uh, buy these in group of 100? Like, are you kidding me? So here you can say, uh, 
multiplied by 100 and the minimum minimum investment is nearly 6 million yen or $44,500. That's a stretch for many retail investors. A minimal investment in Nintendo will drop to around $4,450 after the split. That's much more sensible starting level. And Nintendo is likely to attract more interest from retail investors in October. So wait, how does it work for U.S. shareholders? American investors are shielded from the uh, of the Tokyo Exchange. There are two different American depositories, blah, blah, blah. And talk about here over the counter. The NTDOF ticker represents a single share of underlying Tokyo stock to translate into eight shares of Nintendo's original stock. When American platform, 100 shares lots aren't required. You can pick up a single share in the company today of NTDOY ticker for $55. And many brokers also offer fractional shares in Nintendo's ADR. There are no limit for Nintendo, for your Nintendo investment over here, practically speaking. And when the stock split takes effect, drop in two ADRs to roughly 45 and $5.50 per stub. The real limit shrinks even further. But the stock split on the Japanese side equivalent should affect American investors too. For the broader investment base and more free-flowing liquidity should translate into higher stock prices, at least temporary. Furthermore, giving retail investors greater access to Nintendo stock should make the company more transparent. The company is known for keeping its cards close to the vest, sharing only the bare minimum of required operating data and making every product announcement feel like a surprise. Nintendo stock split is more important than Amazon or Tesla's. It's a huge move for Japanese investors and even American shareholders to see some real world benefit from this move. So this is a fantastic article. I got to give a shout out here by to Anders Byland on The Motley Fool. I know we like to give them a hard time, but this author here put out a fantastic read about the Nintendo stock split. So like I said, guys, $55 a share today after the stock split is going to be like $5.50. So going to be truly amazing to see that drop down. So I'm looking to accumulate shares now. So when this stock split takes place, because there's a chance this could run up before the stock split of people buying this up because stock splits are generally a very bullish sign of the company. Um, real quick too, on the Fintel, guys, total outstanding shares for Nintendo, 4 million, 4.7 million. So we're going to be a little above 47 million shares uh, roughly after the split because it will multiply by 10 as well of the outstanding shares. But it doesn't hurt the company market cap or anything like that. Uh, current company market cap is 52.23 billion. So here you can see it, man, on the Japanese exchange, $446 per share. And that is crucial that they make them buy it in 100 per share lots. That is crazy. So it's going to cost them over $44,000. But after the split, they're only going to have to pay about $4,000. So that's a huge difference. I think we're going to see huge volumes come in this. Because right now, if you look, I mean, and look at this here. The Japanese exchange, there's really no volume, like 3,000 shares. <laughs> I mean, there's just no volume. Even here on the U.S., 248,000 shares are traded. Because a $55 stock. But once it goes down to $5, it's going to get a heck of a lot more volume. In my personal opinion, I will be a buyer of this stock. I'm going to slowly put up my position in this, leading up to the stock split, and see what happens. I'm not going all in at once. I'm going to buy some every couple of weeks, every month, load up a little bit, and get prepared for the split and see what the stock price does before and after the split. So comment down below is this something that you're going to be interested in uh before the split after the split or just going to put on your watch list and take a look at it and see what it does so hope you all enjoyed today's video if you did smash thumbs up leave a comment down below and i'll catch you all in the next video guys peace <laughs>